Let's come into our mountain pose that our warm ups is done and do some leg work today. So ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, spread your toes out. Feet hip width apart, relax your arms. And just reach up through the car. Get that inner focus, breathing in. Just relaxing energy, exhaling any stress or tension. And inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, shoulders down. And then exhale, the hands behind you. Press your hands toward the floor as you lift your heart and press your head back away, coming into a back bend. And then as you exhale, pivot at your hips. Come on, breathe. Hands toward the ceiling, head toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe, lifting your sitting bones, move your chin around, release that neck a little bit. And then bend your knees slightly. Start at the bottom of your spine, going all the way up. Lifting your heart as you get to the top, coming again into a nice back bend, pressing your hands toward the floor. And then an inhalation, come up, releasing your arms, and just take a moment noticing how your body is changing as that circulation increases. And again, inhaling to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So one position over the fingers. Again, coming into the back bend, stretching, and then pivoting over as you exhale. And again, just deepen as far as you want. Lift your sitting bones, getting those legs starting to stretch. Hands toward your head for a little shoulder release. And again, with the knees and chin slightly bent, come on all the way back up. And another back bend. Drop the shoulder blades, stretch the head while we keep breathing. And inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment to focus on how you're feeling. Side stretch. Let's keep one arm down and the other one out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Stretch the hands away from each other and lean without twisting to the side. Take a moment to breathe. Stretch those ribs apart. Push the foot you're leaning away from down from that extra opening and make sure you're not leaning forward. Inhale up, release that arm, and bring the other one. Palm to the ceiling, hand over your shoulder. Push the hands away as you lean to the side. And again, feel those ribs, make sure you're not leaning forward, pull that top shoulder back. And feel those ribs pushing the foot down and the hand away. Inhale up, and release. Shoulders back and down, and get ready for our twist. So really stretch your spine apart. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, bring your arms by your ears, and stretch, sitting bones down and crow. Exhale, turn into your twist, a breath in, spread your toes, keep the weight on those feet evenly, and exhale over. Lift your sitting bones as always and relax the top of your body. And keeping the weight on both feet, spread your toes, inhale, and work your way up in the twist. Remember only the upper body for your back bend because you don't want to overdo that below that when you're twisting. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. Pull your arms again by your ears and stretch the spine apart to twist to the other side. A breath in, exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as your body wants on this side and also keep the weight on both feet evenly. Stretching through the whole back of your body. Shoulder blades still toward your waist. Inhaling, come on up in the twist. Again, into that upper body and the back bend. Elbows back, chest high. Take a breath or two. Inhale, upright. Exhale, into the center. Shoulders down. Fingertips up into extended. Sink evenly into your feet. Sitting bones, shoulder blades down. Fingertips and head up. And just feel that lengthening through your whole body. 
Take a few breaths there. Keep the shoulders going down away from your ears. And then that small dive, so bring the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the floor as you pivot it over. Parallel to the floor, just stretch everything out. And then drop in the red bell, just head. Lift your steady bones, relax. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Lengthening, stretch the head and sitting bones away from each other. And again, dropping the rag down. And then roll your way up one more time into mountain pose. As you get back into your mountain pose, feel your body once more. Oh, that spine stimulation warming up through your torso and your body. And keeping your body in mountain pose, you're going to bring the arms out, palms again to the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, shoulder, shoulder blades down, from the fingertips reaching up, and we're going to go into our chair squat. So go ahead and push your sitting bones back, bring your knees toward but not beyond your toes, keep your spine straight, and just sink down as far into the spot as your body wants to go. Take a moment there, just breathing in the spot. Spread your toes. Keep the weight on both feet evenly. Stretch the spine long and straight. Shoulder, shoulder legs still toward your waist. Take a breath. Sink a little deeper if you want. Remember, take care of your knees as much as you need to. And then leaving with your fingertips, come on back up. Palms out and down into the neck and pose. Take a moment to breathe, exhaling tension. And then let's step the feet apart. And we'll just do a warrior two. So as you're facing the front, you know, the hips and shoulders stay to the front. Toes start facing forward, and maybe take a little bit further stance out for your pose because we're going to get those quads ripping a little bit here. Sitting bones down, hips open, and bring your arms at shoulder level, but keep the shoulders toward your waist. And then turn one foot all the way, but don't turn your hips or shoulders. Heel back, toes forward on that foot behind you. Sink evenly the weight into both feet. Keep it that way. We're going to sink the body straight down, but bend the front knee. Now, as you come down into your warrior, take a moment to breathe. Keep those arms at shoulder level. Spread your toes out. Make sure you've got as much weight in that back foot as in the front foot. Otherwise, things will start fatiguing too fast. <laughs> Take a moment to breathe. Sink your body straight down. Exhale any stress or tension. And we're going to stay here for a breath or two. So make sure your knee is right above your ankle. You can turn and look and make sure you can see your big toe, but not your little toes, and that you're not sinking the knee in and disguising that big toe. You know, both feet evenly sinking into the earth. Exhale, sink those hips straight down. Keep the shoulders relaxing, fingertips reaching out. And then if you want, you can turn your head and torso slightly and look over that from the hand. Take a breath or two. Just sink evenly into both feet. And exhale, tension. And then when you feel like that leg is working, maybe a little bit more through the quad, go ahead, straighten the knee, turn the feet to the front, energize your star, and release your arms for a moment. Take a breath. And of course, we're going to balance the body and do it to the other side. So again, make sure those feet are spread as wide as you want them to be. The wider apart your feet are, the more this front leg will be parallel to the floor with that thigh bone. So don't go that far if you don't want to. And if you want to be extreme or realized, you can go a little further with the feet. And again, arms out, shoulder level, keep stretching those fingertips out and the shoulders down. 
Keep the hips open to the front and turn the foot. Heel back, toes forward on that back foot. Spread your toes, sink evenly into both feet, especially that heel and little to the side of your back foot. And then as you exhale, keep the legs where they are and just bend that front knee, coming down into your rhythm. Spread the toes, keep the arms at shoulder level, take a breath or two, sink evenly into both feet. So really get weight into that back foot as well as the front foot. Breathe, relax, exhale. Stay where you are, keeping both hips open and shoulders relaxing down. If you want, again, you can turn the torso and look over that front hand into that full warrior two. Take a moment and breathe, sink in your feet. Just relax. Feel the weight on both feet. Again, don't forget to check those toes, making sure your knee is above your ankle and not sinking in or out. Relax. Keep those toes spreading, right? going into the base of the toes and heels, even on both feet. And again, turning back to the center, straightening your knee, turning the feet to the front. Energize your star and release. Take a moment, breathing. Exhale, and knee touch. And then step into mountain pose at the end of the neck. So work the hip a little bit this time. Bring your hands to your heart, body and mountain pose. Look at your fingers and bring them up. A little back bend, lifting your heart, looking back at your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your chest, and then down. Pull the weight into the ankle. Slide your hands up under your knees for your halfway up stretch. And then either putting a book or block under your hands to raise the floor, or bending your knees, bring your hands to the floor under your shoulders. And we're stepping the right foot back into a lunge position. So again, knee above your ankle, don't let it sink in or out. Stretch the heel back on that back leg, letting the hips sink. And look slightly forward, but don't crunch your neck. Shoulder blades where? Toward your waist. And then bring the knee behind you down to the floor, either pad under it or make sure you're a little bit above the kneecap itself. And slide your toes back for that stretch on this back hip. So that hip flexor stretches on the sinking of the knee, sinking of the hip. So both hips go straight down. Exhale any tension, just let it relax. And then tuck your toes back under and go onto the ball of your foot and press back through your heel. Hips staying down. Not raising the hip, just letting that lunge, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder line be as straight as possible. And then push off the back foot and back into right dog, letting that hip flexor release that we wrote up in. And again, hands together, inhaling all the way up into your back bend. And I'll just go to the other end of the mat so you see my stretch. Heart high, shoulders down, looking at your thumbs as much as you like. Keep stretching through the back of your neck. Keep those toes spreading. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pin it on over into rag dog. Do your halfway up stretch. Hands under your knees on your shins. Straighten the other knee. And then knees slightly bent or blocks going with you. Then under the floor, fingertips or palms down. Shoulders above your hands. And the left foot steps a good step back into your lunge. Let that hip come down. It's probably going to be a little up as you do it to start with, but after we stretch a little bit here, making sure that knee is above your ankle and not sinking in or out, bring your knee to the floor, either on a pad or above the knee. And again, just sink straight down, sliding those toes back as far as they want to go. Giving yourself a good stretch here on the front of that thigh. 
Take a breath. Just relax. And then tuck your toes under, lifting the knee, not the hip, and getting in straight aligned for your lunge as you can. Ankle, knee, hip, and shoulders. And then pushing off that back foot, coming into your head, and hands together. And then into your back bend, giving yourself a good stretch on the front. And into back and pose. Back in the middle of your mat. Take a moment and breathe. Feel those hips a little bit more open. So we've done the quads and we've done the hips. And let's do a little more of the hamstrings. So again, let's come into a straddle. And sink into your feet evenly. Hips are going to stay open for a moment as you relax and come into your no, don't, don't bother this in your heart. We're going to do our feet first. So turn your foot. Don't turn your hips yet. Push the heel back and toes forward. Now, pull the back hip forward and the front hip back, keeping the knees straight, looking at that front foot. And then either bring your hands to prayer position behind between your shoulder blades or just clasp your forearms behind your low back for support. Keeping your spine straight, you got those hips coming forward and back so that they're even. And now we're gonna pivot at the hip joint so you can bring your thumbs into that hip crease if that helps you figure out where that pivot is supposed to be. Again, the knee is going toward your second toe, making sure that your legs are straight. And you'll feel that back of the front leg especially, but the back one a little bit also as you press into the outside little toe and heel of that back leg so that those hamstrings are getting a little bit of a stretch this time. Spine as straight as you can. Remember, don't push the chin forward. Keep the stretch on the back of your knee. And don't forget to breathe. And if you like that stretch on the back of your leg, you can keep pivoting, bringing your torso toward that front leg, or not, your choice. And again, sitting bones are going evenly back, crown forward, looking down at your foot. And exhale, any tension. Let that stretch along the back of your legs work. And then pivoting up, releasing your arms, turn the feet to the front. And again, just feel your body, Notice what's been working. And of course, we'll balance to the other side. So again, spreading your toes, sinking into your feet. Turn that foot 90 degrees. The other one, heel back. Don't move yet. Just get everything situated in those legs, making sure that the knees and toes are going the same direction. And then the back hip pulls forward, and the front hip pulls back to everything's nice and even. Sink evenly into your feet. Bring your hands where you want them. And pivot at the hip joint. Parallel to the floor, stretching sitting bones one way and clam the opposite. Bring that chin slightly in so the back of your neck keeps stretching. Either hands in prayer position behind your shoulder blades or just crossing your forearms in the lower back area. Get the weight into the balls of the feet and heels evenly. Stretch the spine. Keep that core activated. Remember, you want to keep stretching the whole back of your body. Look that back of your body supported at the low back with those abs supporting you. Spread the toes. <laughs> Stretch your spine. Keep the legs straight. <laughs> Keep the legs straight. Feel the backs of your legs working a little bit more as you press into that back leg as much as the front. Take a moment and breathe. Now, when you're ready to come up, just pivot from those hips, keeping them even all the way up, releasing your arms, and again, turning your feet to the front. And step back into mountain pose. Take a moment to breathe as you bring your heels to your heart. And again, following them up, 
into the back bend, and exhaling over, coming all the way down. Relaxing in the right jaw, and then hands under your knees on your shins for our half layers. Bending your knees, come all the way to the floor, and into child's pose, transition. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. And then sitting up, bring your legs to the front. And into staff position, feet at the end of the mat. We're activated, and we're going to slowly roll to the and as you get all the way down, just take a brief moment, brief mind integration, and bring your arms to T position for our final twist. Just an easy bent knee twist today. So sitting bones towards your heels, bending your knees, bring those heels in right next to your sitting bones, knees straight. Exhale, press the back down just gently and lift your feet off the floor. So you can keep the knees next to each other, or you can cross one leg over, and then roll it over to the side as you turn your head to the opposite side. Head under your knees if you need to for that low back, and turn your head on you as much as your neck area needs to twist. But keep those shoulders, shoulder blades down, making sure that middle back gets a nice stretch and twist as well. Exhale any tension. The more you exhale, remember, the more things you release. Just go as deeply as you want. Letting your twist happen, not forcing it. And exhale, and release. And then bring your heels back towards your hips. Roll onto your back. Uncross your legs if they were crossed. And of course, we'll do the other direction. So back gently down with the knees right above the hips, cross the opposite leg across if that's working for you today. And again, roll the knees to one side and your head toward the opposite. Deep breaths. Letting the ligaments release as you keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Letting the spine give its twist. Knees coming as far toward the floor as they want for your low back. And head turning as much as your neck area needs burdens. Deep breaths, just relaxing, always letting the twist happen, not forcing it. And of course, on your own, you can hold it much longer, letting everything release a little bit more. But because we need our relaxation, you need to bring the heels toward your hips and roll onto your back. I'm crossing your leg if it was crossed and bringing the feet to the floor. Slide the legs out, coming into corpse position for our final relaxation. Shoulders down, palms up, and breathe. A deep breath in. <clears throat> Just let those legs relax, hips release, torso soften. Everything just growing heavy, sinking deeper into that earth surface beneath you, and let your body just relaxing completely, allowing things just to release and relax. Breathing deep, sinking everything into that earth support, and let your body go from your awareness, just keeping relaxing with each breath. And as your body relaxes, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts disappear as easily as you want. Breathing, releasing. Allowing the thoughts to drift away in your body to keep relaxing. Allowing your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And as your mind releases and your body grows heavier, just allow your awareness to turn inward to that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Take a few moments breathing. Feel
And of course, if that relaxation feels super good today, just keep relaxing as long as you have the opportunity. If it's time, though, to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness with breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. Giving yourself a good stretch and getting ready for that final yoga part of the appreciation. And when you're ready for that, just bring your sitting bones toward your heels, drawing your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. And then let your arms around and give yourself that appreciative yoga head. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and cheek to the heel, and rolling to the side, sitting back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead of you again. Thanks for joining me.